What is going on guys, I'm Mustin Mac, and welcome back to the 10 minute videos. Uh, this is now the third in a little series I'm working on where basically I take 10 minutes out and do a non-edited video where I talk about different topics, whether it's stuff I came up with or stuff that you guys suggest in the comments down below, which you guys should comment down below for suggested topics or games. And uh, today's topic is all going to be about conventions as it's very relevant to what I have been up to recently, as well as a uh, little character I've made, which is a representation of Freerun from the Freerun anime. Now I will say, make sure to like, subscribe, all this sort of stuff if you want to keep up with these videos or with the channel. I believe 96.1% uh, of my viewers are non-subscribers and 3.9% of my viewers are subscribers. So if you want to add to that 0.1% and get us to 4% of my viewers or subscribers, make sure to subscribe. Hopefully we can push that by the next video. Um, but yeah, conventions. So recently, last few days, I have been going to Anime Matsuri, a Houston-based anime convention. Um, and it goes from Thursday to a Sunday, so it's a four-day convention, so it's a pretty long convention. I have had a ton of fun, and the reason why I have free run here is that I'm actually a cosplayer. I met some cool cosplayers while there and got some great photos. Uh, and if you actually want to see those photos, I do plan on uploading them uh, to my Instagram. What are, you guys, what are you guys doing over here? I'm just hanging out. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I got some great photos, and uh, I just wanted to talk about the general experience I had, which was just so great um it's a very welcoming uh community and group um and by welcoming uh, i i want to mention one of the examples they have a karaoke uh section where anybody can sign up and do karaoke and uh while not everybody okay man I i'm keeping the theme of dying randomly in the middle of these videos well not everybody is a professional singer over there uh it was very i think uh, heartwarming to see somebody who has the confidence to go up there, maybe not perform the best, but get a roaring applause because they love the song or supported the person going up there and just singing. And that was the general vibe I got from the entire convention. Um, but it was also my first time going to a larger convention like that. I've gone to smaller conventions um, like Collecticon in Houston, and nowadays, since the defunct Rooster Teeth convention RTX was a little bit smaller when I went. Um, I hadn't gone to anything with thousands upon thousands of people going over the course of the four days. So getting to meet people and take photos and have people come up and be like, Oh, I love your character in the show. I'm so glad you uh, decided to cosplay that person. And here, I'll go down the list of people I did cosplay on the four days. So I did Himmel the Hero from Free Ren on Thursday. I did um, Shield Hero, or Nalfami, from The Rising Shield Hero. I did Kiriko from Overwatch on Saturday. And I did Rudius from Mashoka Tensei, or Jobless Reincarnation, on Sunday. And I got photos with plenty of people on all those days. So much fun. Now, uh, I also do want to mention some other convention stuff. Recently, D23, Disney's a big convention for all of their announcements and videos, and movies, and games, and pretty much all of the above. Uh, just, I think, wrapped up this weekend as uh, Anime Expo was going on. So I would literally check Twitter in between us going and taking photos, or getting Starbucks, or between panels, and checking out what they've been up to. Uh, and D23 is such an interesting uh, topic, and it might even be a topic for a completely different video uh, altogether. But it is a relic that has managed to survive the COVID era. And what I mean by that, it is very reminiscent of uh, conventions like E3 uh, and even ones that are still around like Gamescon, which they are solely bent on presenting new things to the public and that being the major and only topic really at hand. Oh. How are people supposed to fix it? Oh. No, man. I don't know how you're supposed to survive at like level one because I'm getting beat up right now. Can I hire you guys as like friends or something? Hi. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Nice to meet you. Um, but uh, yeah, D23 is, is definitely a relic of that era because, I mean, E3, the biggest gaming convention in the world, um, the closest thing to it really being Gamescom in Germany, if I remember correctly, um, died. I mean, is is just gone. It did not survive COVID. Uh, but, I mean, D23 is one of the major examples I can think of, but also uh, BlizzCon is not even happening this year. Another huge convention, while it is um, connected to Microsoft and used to be connected to Activision, I mean, uh, for them to cancel a big convention like that, that's a pretty huge deal. Um, and it's pretty relevant, I think, to D23 as it is a single company presenting their products and it isn't like E3 where it was every single gaming company up until companies like Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo were leaving. Um, I know these are two pretty different uh, conventions between Anime Matsuri and D23 as uh, you're dealing with, I wouldn't necessarily say the same group of people. Um, but you're dealing with people who are passionate about those topics and want to hear about those topics, uh, whether it's new movies, merchandise, uh, Fortnite, apparently, and so much more. Um, but, uh, and also on top of that, D23 is a expo that is live streamed quite a lot. Um, and speaking of live streaming, they changed it up this year. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised, um... I wouldn't even say pleasantly. I think I was just very surprised in general as, uh, ooh, what's this? This is like, uh, cool stuff. I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy a ring from you, bud. Okay. Nice, nice to meet you, gnome. Nice to meet you. I was very surprised, uh, that D23 actually took advantage of their 10% stake in Epic Games, which is a recent part of their investment into future investments. And uh, now they have 10% in Epic Games, which is, of course, the creators and owners of Fortnite, uh, to expand their digital space and how they want to present their characters, geez, uh, to the newer generations. And they mentioned that uh, during their D23 um, panels, that a lot of people that are the, the younger generation are finding out about The Mandalorian and Obi-Wan Kenobi and a lot of their other Disney or Star Wars properties through Fortnite. Uh, of course, the whole joke of like, oh, that's the guy from Fortnite um, is pretty, pretty relevant uh, to that, uh, to their speech. Jesus, this is intense. Very intense. I take them out. But uh, what surprised me was instead of doing the regular live stream, which I think a lot of it was on uh, YouTube and stuff like that, um, they decided to live stream it on Fortnite. They did maybe like a 30 minute live stream where they, it was mostly just announcing the new season or whatever, but it was a pretty big first step into them announcing new skins, new content to Fortnite through Disney um, and only through Fortnite. I, I, that is, uh, I think a pretty bold move for people who maybe aren't as uh, savvy in the Fortnite world or uh, gaming world in general. So I don't know if they were cutting out a certain part of their audience, but they're definitely focusing on the audience that would be most relevant to the announcements, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it was it was a very interesting idea from them to uh, change where you could watch their content. But generally, that's, that's mostly what I did want to talk about when it came to conventions, a little bit of the anime about series, my experience with that, as well as some D23 stuff. So I, I know there's about a minute left, so I'll try to cut as close as possible. I, I try to keep these videos exactly at 10 minutes, and I appreciate the support so much on the last two videos. I have gotten comments, and I do want to read through more of the comments and get to them directly. So if you have any more comments uh, or concerns you want to talk about, uh, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And hopefully next episode, maybe I'll start reading through the comments. Uh, I do try to comment on the comments to the comment section, uh, literally. So, if you leave anything down below, I will make sure to read it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I mean, I, I think I've gotten a collective over, I think, like 2,000 views in the last two videos, uh, which is super great, and I love the support so much. Uh, but if you have enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!